despite initial rejections, animal abuse and dodgy self-driving cars, Elon Musk's dreams have still come true. Yesterday, Neuralink, Elon Musk's brain-computer interface chip company, they tweeted that they've been approved for human trials for their chip to be inserted into people's brains, which then controls robots and computers. So when I first heard the Neuralink, I was under the impression that it was to help people with psychological impairments. But if you head over to the website, it turns out they create a generalised brain interface to restore autonomy to those with unmet medical needs today and to unlock human potential tomorrow. And that it's designed to let you control a computer or mobile device anywhere you go. And so, whilst then they're saying that it will help with medical needs today, it does seem like what they're aiming towards is to make using a computer much faster. But think about it, if you have a chip inside your brain, which means you no longer have to talk or use your hands to type, use a mouse, you can now just use your eyes or your brain. Think of the advantage you have there. And then the other side being that this chip can cost whatever price tag they put on it. And so this computer I'm talking about is the chip. The chip itself would be implanted and cosmetically invisible as it could be under your hair and you wouldn't know. The implant is sealed in a biocompatible enclosure that withstands physiological conditions several times harsher than those of the human body. I don't know about you, but I've never actually thought about how harsh the conditions are inside my body. So, strange selling point there, because I would be more worried about foreign objects in my body, or another scandal like breast implants exploding except a chip exploding in my heat. It's also wirelessly charging, which is hilarious because I just get this image of people like lying their head on a big Apple Watch charger just to charge their chip at night. Or like coming to work the next day and be like, oh my god, I didn't charge my brain. So, so far, the prototypes, which have been about the size of a coin, they've been implanted in the skulls of monkeys using a surgical robot. So basically you got a robot, which is putting a computer in your brain. And so to do this, to replace a bit of your skull, with a Neuralink disk and feed wires precisely into your brain. The reason for this is because then these wires pick up electrical signaling from your brain and then this gets transmitted up to the chip, which then decodes it, turns it into a Bluetooth signal and sends it to the device. As if forgetting to charge your brain was not enough, you now need to make sure you're tethered to the right devices. Although here, Elon Musk looks on the bright side. So, because we have the inevitable rise of AI, which is inevitable because we're making it, Elon Musk thinks this here will stop us getting taken over by AI. Because we put the chip in our brain, we'll be kind of AI. We will be like cyborgs. So if this sounds like something you're into and you would like to get your skull removed so that Elon Musk can plant some wires in your brain with a Bluetooth device, don't worry, it's wirelessly charging. Then you can sign up to the list. Don't know when it's gonna happen, but yeah, you can do that. There was another company got to this first and theirs does seem to be working. And all jokes aside, this is an amazing technology for what it can do. In the same way that, you know, like genetic splicing is an amazing technology. It's just that the potential outcomes are not gonna be the specific way in which they intend to um, improve people's lives. Anyway. Thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you for what's going on in tech next time.